get a lot of recognition this year. Our cigars have been really rated high, been talked about in the blogs. We've been really improving, uh, been added to the quality of them, and uh, they really, they're, they're, in my, well, I, you know, for me, coming from me, might be a little biased, but you know, they're probably one of the best cigars I've ever had in my life. And, um, and people are, uh, it's been a great show for us. So our CLs and MLs just came out. Uh, those are, the CL3s are, it's a full Cuban Corojo, first generation seed. It resembles and mocks the early Monte Cristo number uh, 1992s and earlier. It's really bringing cigars back to where they used to be. The ML3 is, uh, Corojo filler, Corojo wrapper, same thing, except the wrapper on it, I'm sorry, Corojo filler, Corojo binder, but the wrapper on it is a great Maduro seed grown in Ecuador and processed for an extra six months. So it's a very dark wrapper, excellent taste, smooth, creamy, buttery. It's got a, a great flavor to it, nice full body. So it's something that you should really try. Um, if you like Maduros, you'll love that. And uh, we're very excited about it, very, very excited about it. I see this industry growing and growing. I see a lot of younger guys, 22, uh, uh, enjoying the aficionado life, enjoying a good life smoking a cigar, uh, really, and what's nice about this industry is everybody's getting educated. You know, they're, they're forcing the manufacturers to really perform. And what's happening is these other manufacturers cannot get away anymore with, you know, Ricky thinks the consumers get very educated, they know what they want, they know what tastes good. Uh, what we do is we run our tours in the Dominican, we try to educate as many consumers. We had 400 people this year. Um, through the tours. Our website is www.arganisecigars.com. You can see the tours on the top right. Very informational. Uh, it's great to go on if you want to learn about how cigars are started. You'll learn a lot about cigars, so when you're done with the tour, no one will ever put the wool over your eyes. Yeah. And tell us a little bit about the future. Where do you see yourself a few years from now, or the state of the industry in general? From, well, uh, where from we see our company or... is on the cutting edge. We're always experimenting with new and great ideas. We think more outside the box. Um, we experiment in different ways to grow the tobacco, different methods to grow tobacco, different ways to blend it, different ways to work with the seeds, and, and we're experimenting right now different pilots uh, for our cigars. So I think this industry is really going to, if you're on the cutting edge and you're willing to think like this, this industry is really going to take off. Um, so smoking cigars has been a pastime for, for, for years and years and years, and it's going to keep staying like that. And as the younger generation is enjoying the good life, and enjoying the good things in life, good wines, good cigars, I think that will uh, only keep getting bigger, bigger, and bigger and better. So that's what I see it coming. Gene, thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Hey, it's Gary, job. thank you very much. And uh, you do a great job with your blog. And <laughs> everybody out there, hope you read it. Hope you respond to it. Cigar advisor.com. <laughs> That's it. All right, man. Thanks. Uh, all right, thanks.